Hey guys, so I know I said in my vintage Mac collection series that I wanted all my Macs to be found locally, but I found this iBook clamshell on eBay for $45, so I couldn't pass up on it. It's in pretty good condition, as you can see. But it has one small problem. When I bought a charger for it and plugged it in, it booted right up! So then I wiped the hard drive, reinstalled the OS, and when I was setting it up, the whole computer froze, and when I tried to restart it, it no longer booted to the desktop. It went back to the screen with the flashing question mark and finder logo, so yeah, that was a bad sign. So, I tried to reinstall the OS again, but when it went to the page to select what drive I should install it on, the hard drive didn't appear. So this iBook's hard drive, which was about 19 years old, it finally died. And all of you guys probably know me as a guy who destroys technology, but I have wanted this model iBook for a long time, so I'm not gonna destroy it. I'm gonna be trying to fix it. So let's try to replace this computer's hard drive. Early watchers of this vlog channel, remember when I did a series where I tried to fix stuff in my MacBook and that got crazy views for some reason? So, where am I gonna get the hard drive to replace the dead one with? I also bought this PowerBook G4 online for $15. And I am gonna destroy this one for a main channel video, so why not gut it for parts for this iBook? Why was it $15 and I don't want to keep it? Well... Great hinge! And this PowerBook G4 also does boot up, but it also booted up to the flashing question mark logo screen. But turns out it was just missing an OS, so I installed an OS on it and it boots up fine now. And that's how I knew the hard drive was working, so we're gonna take this hard drive and put it in this one. And maybe take out the 1GB of RAM and the airport card and place it in this one too. And before I take out its hard drive, let's give it one final boot up. You can also see the condition of it is really poor. Look at all this paint that's scraped off. But it still works and boots. The hard drive is kind of making funny noises. Hopefully this one won't die too. And yeah, again, I have to hold the screen up or else it will fall. Whoa. Final shutdown before it's destroyed. Good night, sweet prince. This hard drive is probably gonna die too soon, but I'm too cheap to buy a brand new hard drive and I just wanted a video. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go into our first time lapse to disassemble this one. I kinda bent the hard drive's pins when I was removing that connector thing. Hopefully when I put on the new connector, they'll just strain out. Oops. All right, I got out the RAM, airport card, and hard drive with several bent pins that I hope won't affect it. Now, if you've got to do this part of the video, you're probably asking, what's so hard about replacing an Ibo clamshell hard drive? Well, it's very complicated to replace a hard drive in one of these because you actually have to literally take the almost the entire computer apart. Just to get to the hard drive, you saw how easy it was on this computer? It took like 10 minutes? Well, according to the iFixit guide on the iBook clamshell hard drive replacement, the difficulty is very difficult, and time required is two hours. Now, I'm not gonna follow the iFixit guide because reading words and looking at pictures doesn't do it for me. Instead, I'm gonna be following a step-by-step -step video by the 8-Bit Guide, very awesome YouTuber. I downloaded the video and put it in Final Cut Pro and chopped it up. I chopped up each step, so if I need to view a step, I know where exactly the step starts and ends. All right, I think it's time to get started. Two hours, that iFixit guide says. We're gonna see if it really takes me two hours, cause I have my iPad right here and a stopwatch, so yeah, we're just gonna put this on while doing a time lapse. And let's see if this tech destruction YouTuber can fix something. I already screwed up. The time's ticking and I forgot to get coin soap in the battery door.
All right, I'm more than halfway done. Got the screen off. How hard would I say it was? Eh, it wasn't that hard, especially with the video, but I'm pretty sure reassembly is gonna be harder. <laughs> Alright, I got the hard drive out, and yes, I bent some pins on this one too. Oh well, who cares. Took about 46 minutes, not too bad. Just put the hard drive back in, and I'm gonna start reassembling this computer. Okay, deep breaths. Also, that hard drive was only like 3.2 gigabytes. This one's 30 gigabytes, so that's a good upgrade. I'm also gonna put in the RAM and the airport card after this is over. Oh, before I reassemble the iBook, this is my system of sorting the screws. I just tape them to this piece of paper, then circle each group of screws in with a pen, and I write down a quote from the video so I remember where they go. So yeah, this worked pretty well for me. I don't lose any screws and they're all organized, yeah. Done! To disassemble it, it took me about 46 minutes. And to reassemble it, it took me one hour and two minutes. So yeah, that iFixit guide was pretty accurate. If it was talking about both disassembly and reassembly. And with some help from the 8-bit guys video, it was pretty easy. It took a long time, but it was still kind of easy. I also put in the airport card and one stick of RAM because there was only one slot for one stick of RAM, so yeah. That was a 512 megabyte stick of RAM, by the way. I don't know what the total RAM is now because there's some RAM soldered in. But there's still the question. Did my repair work? Did I fuck up anything else inside of this iBook while trying to replace the hard drive? Let's find out! I also gotta say, the yo-yo charger is very cool. Alright, I have an official copy of Mac OS 9.2.1. We're just gonna put this in the disk drive and power it on while booting from disk. Heard the chime, that's good. The little Happy Mac, think everything's going well so far. But the real question is, will it be able to read the new hard drive? All right, so to install the OS, we're gonna go to utilities, drive setup, will it pop up? Yes, yes, there it is, there it is. As you can see, the new hard drive is recognized as not mounted, so we're just gonna go and initialize that. Initialize, and let's install Mac OS 9. 17 minutes. This should take a while. Almost there. Oh. Oh, installation has finished. Let me just turn off the computer first. All right, and now let's turn the laptop back on to see if it's truly successful. Bong. Got the Happy Mac. And yes, it's booting up. Got the jellyfish, I think it's jellyfish wallpaper. Uh-oh, I think it's frozen. Oh, never mind. And this is where the last hard drive died. I was setting the date, it froze, and then when I restarted it, that's when I saw the error no hard drive screen. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't break here too. Hey, the airport card I put in is working. Does it see our Wi-Fi? Why, yes it does. Suddenly gay or whatever. Oh, will it actually connect to our Wi-Fi? Connect to the internet now. <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> All right, if you see at the bottom, it looks like we have signal and I'm connected to my modern Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Uh-oh, can't go to apple.com. Let's try Google. Nope, too new for this computer. Maybe I'll install a newer operating system to see if I can get it to show some web pages later on. Did the RAM I put in show? 
I think the RAM I put in worked. I'm not sure of this jargon. All right, thank you guys for watching this tech repair video. Can't wait to take this iBook into a coffee shop and look like a hipster. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.